After leaving court downtown, Hastert rode in this black SUV to his sprawling home in far west suburban Plano. Chopper 2 spotted the vehicle going into the garage. A few seconds later, the door shut and we never saw Hastert. CBS 2's Mike Parker is live in Plano where the former favorite son is understandably the talk of the town. Mike? Rob, this little town of Plano stood in for Smallville during the filming of a Superman movie a few years back. Now, with the downfall of her favorite son, Dennis Hastert, it appears that the only hero standing here is now Superman. The afternoon crowd at the Hard Days Tavern was full of stories today about Hastert's glory days. I got an A-plus on my U.S. Constitution test. Everybody in the class got to have lunch with Dennis Astor as our reward. Um, our, our history teacher was friends with Astor. What do you think about that now? Is it such an honor? Not so much. I feel ashamed for the community on what Denny Hassert did. I feel ashamed to be from Plano with what he did. And the Hastert sentencing was topic A at Sherry's Cafe down the block. If it had been up to you, what kind of a sentence do you think he should have gotten? Uh, for all the transgressions he's accused of, life in prison would have been a small amount for him to pay to me. We used to brag about being from the hometown of Dennis Hassert. Anybody still bragging about it? I don't think so. <laughs> well, as we said, there is still Superman. Now, of all the residents we talked with today, not one would go on the record and defend Hastert. It seems that the phrase disgraced former House Speaker still has meaning. Reporting live from Plano, Mike Parker, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, Mike, thank you.